South Africa now, Vukile Property Fund, which owns malls in South Africa and Spain, claims to be benefiting from aggressive retailer expansion in its sector of the market, which with vacancies at their lowest level and on the decline since it went public in 2004. Now, Vukile's metrics were at odds with economic indicators, CEO Lawrence uh, Rapp uh, said when the company reported that the South Africa Footfall, that's uh, foot traffic, was now at 97% of pre-COVID-19 levels. Strong demand for space from tenants focused on non-discretionary spending, such as grocers, fast food retailers, value, fashion, meant that Vukile's metrics seem to be at odds with the, with the data. But as far as the recovery, we're going to be talking to uh, Shakira Adigun, who is an analyst with Financial Derivatives Company Limited. Shakira, very welcome. Good morning uh, to you. Thanks for joining us. Um, Look, this company, it's understand, I think we understand they've had to deal with high debt levels, um, or rather high interest rates, rather. How have they managed to have they managed their debts in your view? Okay, so two things. Yeah. We have the debt expiry profile and then interest rate hedging. Mm. So they have a long debt expiry rate um, expiry profile, which um, for four years. So that means that they don't have to worry about paying debts in the next four years. Okay. So if in the markets there's uh, the availability for debt financing is not available, it's reducing they won't really have to worry because they already have that taken care of for the meantime. Mm. And for the interest rate, hedge, interest rate hedging, they, um, they have hedged about 96% of their um, debts. Um, so, if there's any so if there's any interest, um, increase in interest rates, yeah. it won't really affect their future earnings because they have, they have all of that taken care of. So okay. this has, um, these two have basically made them have like a strong defense in um in the market as it is right now what about energy because um we saw the was it the third quarter data for south africa's gdp i think it was slightly improved despite load shedding with escom and everything how's uh, the company managed manage that so for clear was one of the early adopters of um pv in the in their sector so they have been using solar for a while now mm. and currently they have about 12.7 megawatts in their portfolio and they plan on adding 3.7 megawatts as well so this is like a continuing is a continuous commitment for them, and by 2026 they expect to double their PV capacity. So tenants are not looking for, are looking for um, shopping malls that are able to pro um, produce or provide this energy. Imagine if um, they are they, the tenants are allowed to provide their energy themselves. Yeah. You have a situation where there are some tenants that have lights and some don't, and yeah. it's not really good. It doesn't really speak well for the comp for the shopping mall or even a trading e environment for that matter. So. Yeah, it's the responsibility for um, Vukile has taken it upon themselves to actually provide um, electricity for them, and they are trying to look for a sustainable way by trying to combine solar, battery, and generators mm. to make um, light constant for them, in order for the shoppers and tenants to have like a good experience or a very good experience with their um, in the shopping mall. Okay, as far as uh, foot traffic, footfall, um, which they claim is ninety seven percent pre pandemic levels. How are they using, I guess, business intelligence and data science to be able to, you know, manage those, track those figures? Okay, so footfall refers to the number of people that are entering the mall, the shopping mall, in yeah. this case, yeah. uh, at a particular time. So um, they've basically, they're using two sources of data. One is like what they call the in-mall data, okay. where they're offering free data to customers once they sign up. And this helps them better interact with the customers as they enter, they basically know their psychographics and their um, and their demographics, really like their buying patterns, their preference, and all that. Then um, the software they have, um, which helps them to track the movements of um, customers once they enter yeah. this thing. So this will help them, like if they see the trend in customers in a particular area in the mall, mm. they're able to better use an the better um, an appropriate marketing strategy for them. And then there's this interesting thing they do, which yeah. um, they tra I said they track the movements of customers, yeah. yeah. So if they leave the, um, their mall, Vukile's mall, to another mall, they would be able to use that information to find out if there are tenants in that computer mall that yeah. these um, customers actually, that they don't have. So that would make them, like, allow them to mix their um, tenant. They would reconsider or look at their tenant mix and try and get um, a better one to better suit the needs of 
the customers basically. So they're, so, so they're spying on them. Sounds like they're spying. <laughs> sounds, it, sounds like, it sounds like a privacy like issue. Exactly. <laughs> Real quick, less than a minute ago, what's the outlook? Like South Africa, you know, I think they were in a technical recession or so. Mm -hmm. Looking at 2023, retail and so on, what, what's, how, how was the outlook? Okay, so their operating level seems to be strong yeah. and they're performing well. So um, this macroeconomic um, environment, it's not really something that is within their control. Yeah. What is in their control, however, is the fact that they have a strong position in the market. Yeah. And they are, um, if they are able to navigate their way through um, whatever comes ahead based on what they have, like their potentials and all that, yeah. while being cautious, I think they would um, continue to have more um, more customers or more, the vacancies will continue to fall, basically. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Very, in 2023, massive year for South Africa, even more massive for Nigeria, massive for Africa in general. We'll see how things work out, especially for areas like the retail sector, which mm -hmm. we have a particular interest in. Uh, Shakira Tadigo, analyst with... Financial Derivatives Company Limited. Thanks for joining us. Always love talking retail with you. Appreciate your time.